Hi, welcome right alongside. So for 2021, you're probably gonna go one by 10. Think I'm wrong? Let's take a look. All right, so the reason I am not going to 12 speed and I'm going to 10 speed from 11 speed, well, I had already actually purchased these things here. So I got a 12 speed chain here. It's the uh, M6100 series. So is this, this is the rear derailleur M6100 uh, Dior. So I was all prepared to go 12 speed and looking forward to the new Shimano uh, 12 speed system. I've heard really great things about it. And then I started thinking about a little bit more. Both my sons are on the Shimano 10 speed stuff. It's stuff that I had laying around um, from when I used to run. 10 speed stuff before I switched over to the Shimano 11 speed stuff. I've run the SRAM 10 speed stuff as well and 11 speed stuff and 12 speed stuff even. And now shifting over to all this stuff. So this is the MicroShift Advent X system. So we've got their, their shifter here. We've got the rear derailleur, and then uh, we have a cassette as well. And the cassette is the hard piece to find at the moment. This one is 11 to 48, as is their other one, but this one is the CS H104. It is 10 speed, 11 to 48. It is um, not an alloy spider. Uh, it is not an aluminum cogs, so this is their steel version, and it's heavy. It's like 600 grams. So this will be kind of my training cassette until I can find the aluminum version. I have went with the KMC X10 chain. I love the KMC chains. I may end up going to a lighter weight uh, SL version of their 10-speed chain, but I've run these for many years, uh, especially back in the day, but um, they work well. Tell them with the quick link. Uh, but the real thing I wanted to compare was the MicroShift rear derailleur versus the Shimano Dior rear derailleur. And I've got a spreadsheet I'll share with you here, here in a moment to show you why I decided on these things. But here is the Advent X rear derailleur. And it's got this clutch system. If you're looking at this video, you may have uh, heard others talking about this system, but you can hear. I wanna make sure that you can hear that clutch system. It's very different than other clutch systems I've found in the past, but this looks pretty high quality. Stamped steel and whatnot, but um, they've got a nice, uh, very smooth kind of feeling coating. It almost feels like a powder coating kind of thing on on the uh, derailleur cage. Um, and big, big jockey wheels. Uh, I don't know how many teeth are on them, but very similar to the Dior uh, 12 speed rear derailleur. Now, <laughs> the Real difference I saw on paper with these two were that the Shimano uh, 12 speed rear derailleur. <clears throat> of course, you can hear nothing from its clutch, it's more of a sprag system than a um, can't hear anything at all um, so that's that could be a, a real benefit to some of you uh, it's more of a sprag system clutch rather than the micro shift clutch that's that's more uh, kind of like your hubs actually it's got some paws in there and you can hear that as it ratchets so uh, the Dior 12 speed rear derailleur it, uh, it, it looks a little bit cheaper to me on the, um, 
the jockey wheel arm here with the uh, the way that they just stamped out the steel for that I mean it looks it looks very uh, rudimentary to me and and not very well finished this edge is even kind of a little bit sharp but um, same size jockey wheels made in Japan the micro shift is made in Taiwan um, and again 10 speed versus 12 speed so you get a couple more uh, gear choices with the Shimano Dior and with the micro shift uh, it only goes up to the 48 tooth maximum uh, for their cassettes so uh, there's that and um, you know on paper these and I'll, I'll show my spreadsheet to you here in a moment uh, of all the different choices I was looking at but um, this Dior rear derailleur the SGS model it uh, again there's the uh, there's how, how the box looks uh, RD-M6100 SGS it uh, claims to be uh, 320 grams and it um, it actually came in at 354 I've got it on a picture here I'll roll in but um, the uh, Advent X actually claimed to be um, I believe it was 320 I'll uh, look on that spreadsheet again but it it actually weighed in at, at 310 and I'll roll that picture in of it on the scale so it's lighter than claimed but they looked very similar on paper the Advent X rear derailleur currently is selling for just around $70 some people will sell it for a little bit more some will sell it for a little bit less and the Dior um, M6100 SGS rear derailleur is selling for currently anywhere between $55 and $70, just depending on how often it's available. And it's getting great reviews, so uh, that's really nice. The shifter, let me break out Advent X shifter. I never actually got a Shimano shifter because the Shimano Dior shifter wasn't really what I wanted. Um, I actually wanted the the XT shifter, but here is how the Advent X shifter looks. And this is a rubberized pad for shifting down into the lower gears. And then this is just a, um, it's a push-push configuration. Uh, which I don't like quite as much. And this is the Trail Pro. I couldn't figure out exactly what the difference was between Trail and Trail Pro, but they do offer two different models. I think it's a ball bearing that they have here. As you can see on the box, it has, you know, this is the, the model number and then it says sealed bearings, yes. Lever pad, yes. So I don't know if they have a model without that, but uh, this shifter, was very inexpensive it was let's see they claim that it's only 119 grams the shimano dior 12 speed shifter they claim that it's 116 grams the xt shifter uh, for 12 speed was 61 dollars about and uh, this uh, shifter comes in at under 30 dollars i think it's um about $28 if I remember correctly. The Dior shifter is about $32, so they're about the same. All right, so here's the spreadsheet that I had mentioned earlier. This is showing all of the different options that I had considered. The Advent X is in the pink, that's what I went with. The A indicates the shifter, the B indicates the rear derailleur, the C indicates the cassette, and the D indicates the chain to go with that. The 10 indicates it's a 10 speed, 11 for 11 speed, 12 for 12 speed, and I even considered nine for nine speed. You can also see that the sixth column is showing what speed it is, so you can see the 10 and 11s there. The fifth column over is the price, and the fourth column over is the weight in grams, and then you can see that far column on the right is my notes showing what tooth combinations are. If you're curious about the spreadsheet, just let me know in a comment below and I'll post a link to it. The Dior shifter 
when you shift down into lower gears, say you come around a corner, uh, something fast uh, is approaching and you got a super steep climb and you want to kind of drop a bunch of gears and go into a low uh, gear, um, the Dior shifter for the 12 speed only can drop three at one time, whereas this one has one more. So I'd give the advantage to this Advent X over the Dior shifter, them both being about the same um, price and this one being, it's claiming to be 119 grams and the Dior shifter claims to be 116. I'll roll in a picture of the actual weight of this now. All right, so another thing I really like about the micro shift stuff, I don't like this made in Taiwan. I really do prefer the Shimano stuff made in Japan. Uh, and uh, I've always preferred Shimano stuff over SRAM, except for in the early 2000s when I was running nine speed, I really did prefer the SRAM stuff. And I have to hand it to SRAM. They're very innovative. They came up with kind of the one by drivetrain system, the narrow wide chain ring, uh, and uh, Shimano is doing a great job with the clutch. I really like that. Uh, I like uh, how Shimano feels a little bit more precise to me, a little bit more uh, quality controlled than SRAM stuff. The lower end SRAM 12 speed stuff really feels uh, junky in my opinion. I know other people say that it doesn't, but it seems to wear out really fast and the tolerance isn't as good. I really like that the micro shift stuff comes in these plain kind of boxes. You may think that that doesn't look quite as good, but this seems really generic to me, the Shimano packaging. And their higher end stuff does come in different color stuff like the XT boxes uh, are nice and gray and black. And, and yet uh, this stuff just looks like, you know, the plain generic box to me and I'm not a real big fan of the glossy colored cardboard I'd much rather have you know stickers on the plain cardboard stuff I think that's um, maybe even better for the environment I don't know um, but it just looks like to me like a um, better packaging system uh, so I have to hand it to Microshift for that, I, I really like the packaging. I like the fit and finish. And uh, Micro Shift, you have to think about how Shimano has just held uh, the reins of the drivetrain for mountain biking since the 90s, really, maybe even the 80s, I guess, uh, when uh, mountain biking for, first started out. But um, Shimano's had very good quality control, like I said. I like their stuff, um, and for Microshift to enter into this game, coming up with a new clutch system and having a really nice feel to the lever quality already, uh, you have to hand it to them. It's, it's not easy to get into this market, and their engineers have done a good job from what I can tell so far, and I'll be doing a full long-term review on this stuff, so uh, you'll get all of my... Um, you know, final thoughts on it after I'm able to ride this stuff for many months. All right, so stop the video here. I have actually been riding on the Microshift Advent X for about three weeks now. I wanted to ride it a little bit before I shot this video. Now, there are some things that you will like better about different drivetrain systems. SRAM and Shimano are really polished. But this micro shift stuff feels awesome. I haven't tried any of their other drivetrain systems, but the Advent X, the one by 10, is working really well. Got great shifts, crisp, crisp shifting, and going up climbs, I'm actually able to stand up out of the saddle and shift, and it's going right into the next gear up without me really backing off too much off of the pressure on the pedals at all, which is really, really good. I haven't had any miss shifts or anything. It's been great. Has it been as great as Shimano's uh, cassettes? I don't know. I haven't tried their 12 speed stuff and I've heard this really, really good. So take that for what it's worth. The one thing I have a little bit of a gripe with so far is their clutch. It doesn't seem to be quite as stiff as Shimano's, but it is a really light action uh, shift. So I think that there's a balance there somewhere. 
with having a really tight clutch that actually shifts really crisp and smooth and light as well. So I would prefer the shift to be light and crisp rather than having a real stiff clutch that prevents my chain from slapping my chain stay at all. So that's that. Let's take a look at the bike and uh, see what it all looks like. Currently in hand, I have to say, this stuff feels high quality. It's not like it's uh, very much heavier. It's uh, low cost. You can get into a 10 speed, 11 to 48 um, to set up one by system for uh, under 200 bucks, uh, maybe even under 150 if you uh, find the uh, components at the right places. So. I have to hand it to them. So why why would I go this route? Well, for one thing, I wanted to really try out the micro shift system. It seems like it is a really good system from all I can tell from initial reviews. And I'm not an early adopter. I it really takes me a while to get on to the bandwagon with stuff and to really want to test it out. I don't want to be left on the trail with issues. So. Um, 10 speed stuff has always been uh, favorable to me. When I ran this stuff back in the day, I was really worried about durability issues compared to nine speed stuff. Nine speed stuff seemed pretty good. If I had some, especially SRAM nine speed chains back in the day, for whatever reason, they were snapping on me a lot. And I finally found KMC chains and I've stuck with them ever since. They've been very durable for me. They're um, not very pricey, so I've always went with those, and I've always had pretty good success with them. Um, with the Shimano chain, it's, um, or the 12 speed chain, I should say, even SRAM stuff, it is a lot thinner. In order for them to, to um, figure that out, they had to go with a thinner chain. I know this isn't the best comparison, so sorry about that, but it is uh, a thinner chain in order to fit those 12 cogs uh, in there. They had to go with a thinner chain, and the tolerances are tighter for shifting uh, between those different cogs. So uh, that is a problem, uh, <laughs> in my opinion, when you've got dirt and uh, sometimes water, uh, mud and oil and uh, you've got metal on metal literally metal on metal and you're grinding dirt into there you're going to have tolerance issues and that's why that low-end SRAM stuff I have experienced them having problems with uh, the shifting uh, and only after a few hundred miles on some of my buddies' um, bikes on the lower end SRAM stuff. And that that's really unfortunate. It would be nice to have 12-speed uh, wide-range cassettes that actually worked for a while without having to have uh, much adjustment. But their bikes were in the shop all the time. Uh, the higher-end uh, machined from one piece of aluminum Cassettes don't have as much of an issue, I must say. I have to admit that. But um, what I am really focused on is not spending all that much money. I really, as a single speeder, I don't spend that much money on drivetrain components. And I don't feel like I should need to. I feel like there's competition out there and that they should be figuring out how to make a cassette, a shifter, and a derailleur for around 100 to 200 bucks. It seems like that's the way to go, which is why I'm comparing these two. I could compare Advent X versus XT, but it's not a fair comparison. The uh, XT is way more expensive, which is why one of the reasons why I didn't go with the 12 speed. I really wanted the XT shifter that had multiple release options as opposed to the Dior that only had uh, three at once to go into the low gear, whereas the Advent X has four at once. 
and that's just uh, a lot better in my opinion just one more you might think isn't a big difference but it really is and um for their shifter to only be 30 bucks and for it to have this good of a feel to it and drop four gears uh all at one push uh that that is excellent so uh, i had to give it a try also the dur durability issues and uh lack of maintenance i'll need with the 10 speed uh, system I think is uh, worth trying so um, that is why I am not going with this Dior 12 speed I'm going to sell this one off and we're going to set up the Advent X micro shift system with the 11 to 48 cassette well like I said I'm Nick from right alongside I'm going to test this out give you my thoughts after a few months so if you haven't uh, please subscribe down below and tap the bell so that you get the notifications when I do post up new videos. And if you have liked this video, please do give me a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And leave a comment down below about what drivetrain system you're running. Well, thanks so much for watching. I'll have more content for you real soon.